Golly. Woo, look at this. All right. There we go. My gosh, guys, I know y'all are looking right in the sun right now, but we are on some crappie. Man. So guys, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to get you out of the sun real quickly. All right, guys, I had to get you out of the sun, but look, we're on, the, on top of some crappie right now, um, and it's, it's a cold, cold day. Uh, well, not that cold, but for what we've been having lately, so I think it's like 42 degrees. Uh, but we're doing some winter crappie fishing. So uh, one thing I've been thinking about that we haven't done uh, in quite a while is some live scope footage uh, and or uh, really live scope settings. And uh, I've had a couple people ask it, uh, that of me and I've done some basic stuff, but I think what I'm gonna do today is kind of go back over uh, how you would, if you got your live scope for the first time, how you'd set it up and then some of the, the settings that I do uh, personally when I'm fishing every day because I'm always making adjustments on the live scope and uh, just something you can't just set and and leave it there you've got to make changes so uh, y'all stay tuned and we'll do some live scope footage here and then probably get back to some fishing mm -mm. see you later little girl All right, guys, so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over some live scope settings. Uh, I've had it uh, asked in the past, and I've done a video on it before, but uh, I did it basically on the settings that I normally use. And I'm gonna kind of do that again today, but I'm gonna go back through a few more basics. Um, so I'm gonna put this on, you're gonna see me like this, but I'm gonna put it on, uh, on Active Captain and record this so you guys can watch it. But let me show you a couple things. If you are doing YouTube videos or if you want to record your stuff on Active Captain. There's a couple things you need to do, especially if you, if you have an iPhone. I'm not sure how an Android works, but um, and you're not gonna be able to see this, but I can tell you. Uh, so if you go into your settings program uh, on your iPhone, go down to Display and Brightness, click on that, and then you'll see. Scroll down just a little bit. There's one that says Auto Lock. Um, on the iPhone, you have a 30 second option, a one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minute, and then Never. So I'm gonna click on never. And uh, what, that, what happens with that is when you're recording, and this is I mean, a lot of times when I don't have live scope footage to show you, this is one of the issues that I have. I've not changed it over. Um, and so what's gonna happen is after five minutes, your phone shuts off, the, the display shuts off. When the display shuts off, it quits recording as well. So uh, you just gotta make sure that you're gonna be able to see your footage. Uh, not a lot of times you need to do a five minute video, but you know, sometimes you want to see it. Um, sometimes if you have a second person in the boat, you can bring an iPad and uh, put Active Captain on there. And then you can have two people looking at the same screen, but one standing over here on the side, you know, looking at it, one looking right at the, uh, the actual uh, Garmin unit. So that's one of the things you got to do. So. Uh, all right, let me get Active Captain started. I'm gonna put you guys on pause for one minute, get that going, and uh, be back with you. 
All right, guys, so I have active captain up, as you can see, and uh, on my, with my uh, transducer, I've got a nice little tree showing here, but I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I do, especially when you first get this out of the box. It's exciting, you think I'm gonna be able to just get out there, jump in and start fishing, and to an extent you can, but there are gonna be some issues that you uh, probably need to take care of to make sure you get the best quality picture. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, you know, unfortunately you can't see what I'm doing here, on the screen, I apologize. I mean, on the uh, my buttons, but I'll try to uh, walk you through them as we go in here. You can watch on the screen, okay? So I'm gonna hit my menu button here, and uh, first thing I'm gonna do is go to sonar setup. So once I get in here, I've got several different options. Uh, appearance is the first one. You look at your color schemes. So I've got it on amber, which is the very first one. But let's scroll through some of these uh, copper. Shows you a little different view. Uh, black emerald. Some people love that. I don't. I don't know if it's because of my eyes, but uh, whatever. Anyway, got a midnight blue. That's another one. Orange crawfish. It's not a bad one for me. Red shad. And then you have blue which to me that looks like the old 2D sonar. I cannot stand that. Um, I know what it's doing is showing you in red the hot spots, but I'd rather see that in a different color personally. Uh, and then we'll go down to the yellow, just to let you take a look at it. Once again, that looks like the old sonar in my opinion. Um, so I'm going back to amber. All right, uh, color gain. This is one thing that uh, a lot of people don't ever mess with. I uh, believe default, it comes somewhere in the 40s. Uh, I pop mine up to 95. Uh, and, and I will come change this periodically, but this is gonna be pretty much what I set it on. So if you look at the screen, it's getting darker and darker. My hot spots are going away. I want, I want to see those suckers. So I'm gonna pop that. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it right there about 86. And we'll do about, yeah, 88. All right. Uh, let me go back to my menu, hit the wrong button there, back to sonar setup. Uh, you got a noise, well, hold on. Appearance, there we go. Um, you got trails, you can turn trails on or off. Uh, I'll leave mine off. Bottom fill, uh, let's turn it on for the fun of it and see what, uh, if you look at the very bottom, it's filled with kind of a different color. I keep mine off, personally. Just something else to add in there. Grid overlay. Uh, you say show or not show, you just saw those squares in there, they all went away. I like those, and I'll tell you why. So I'm fishing at 20 foot, and if you look at the numbers, it starts with zero in the, in the it's right underneath the transducer. You got two, four, six, eight, so I know there's a two foot uh, radius between those squares. Same thing going down on my depth. So uh, if I see a fish and it fills up a majority of that square, I know it's a good fish. So I like the grid overlay on there personally. Um, and then scroll history, I'm not worried about that. Let's go ahead and go back and talk about noise reject, TV uh, G, and yeah, those are two that I wanna talk about here. And then there's three things that I said I change every time. So these are two that I do mess with depending on what the water looks like, if it's gonna be muddy, if it's gonna be uh, clear. Um, so if you look at the screen, I hit noise reject. Right now I got it on high. If I turn this off, look at that. So I'm seeing the sonar rays. It looks like rays of light, but it's actually the sonar coming off the transducer. Um, I don't like that. Um, I can go with low. I can go with medium. Or I can go with high. Right now I'm doing high. It gives me the best picture, especially for video. Um, I can see pretty good with it as well. I, I see better with it. Um, I'm just getting a bunch of that junk out of there. Uh, TVG, let's go to that. Right now I've got it off. So what it's gonna do is basically take out, it stands for uh, time varying gain. Um, what it does, it takes out trash around the uh, transducer. So if I go on low, you'll notice there's gonna be a little black thing that pops in. Wow, that was a lot for that. Actually, I thought it wouldn't think it would be that much. Well, I am in 23 foot of water. Um, go to medium, it takes out more, and go to high, it does it again. So notice the tops of my trees are now have now disappeared. 
So when I'm in a deeper water, I might turn that on. If I have a lot of trash in the water, I might turn it on. I am going with this on the off position. Um, it, it allows me to see uh, all the way up to my transducer, everything that's in the water. Uh, not that I need that, but, and I forgot to turn that thing off. Uh, that's another thing to do on your phone is turn the uh, notifications off or else you're gonna see them on the screen like if you just saw just now. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, I wanna, see, I wanna be able to see when I catch a fish. I wanna see it come all the way up because I'm putting these on YouTube for you guys to see. So I wanna see it all the way up there. I don't wanna disappear in the middle. Um, let's go to data overlay. So this is gonna show you your depth, which I want on. So if I turn the depth off, you'll notice it just disappeared. Um, I'm gonna leave it on high. I like my water temperature on there. 62.7 uh my unit voltage i want to go ahead and it helps me to be able to watch that that may be too much information for y'all but with my battery issues i've had lately i want to watch that and then uh my speed i don't want that oh okay gps speed water speed auto i've got it on hide i don't need to see that uh time of day i do have that on there's your clock uh, i like to see that one uh, some reason my hummingbirds are an hour behind all the time i don't understand why i've messed with that forever but anyway um so those are the main settings that i'm, I'm going to use here now let's go ahead and go back out so you see i've got i've got a uh, a nice tree here so a couple of things i'm going to use all the time if i'm going to look for a tree i'm going to go ahead and and scan out all right, so I can usually I'll, I'll pop it up to 70 feet. What that's allowing me to do, see I've got, looks like about 50 feet, there's another tree. Uh, this, it's really not clear at all, but that's how I uh, do my scanning. Once I get up to uh, where I'm going, I'll move it back down to 20 feet. So once again, I know I got those two foot uh, squares. So right here, I've got this one at five feet is where these fish are where this stump is and these fish. And those are some pretty good fish in there. Um, another thing I'll do is mess with my gain. So I can turn it up higher, I can turn it down lower. Um, just, it, it's a constant thing that I'm, I'm dealing with here. I always wanna get the best picture. And so uh, I like my gain up in the 84, 85, 86 range. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do constantly is, uh, I went back too far, sorry, uh, back up. There we go. Um, is I'm gonna hit my menu and I'm gonna select my depth range. So when you first get your unit, it's gonna be on the auto setting. Um, and what the auto setting does, it's gonna bring your, it's gonna put it about right there. Notice how small that picture is. I'm having a hard time, you know, seeing where my fish are, seeing how big they are. So I wanna maximize my screen and pop it down there to where I just have the bottom end. Um, there are some guys that uh, I talked to one the other day. He, he knows that pretty much everything on the bottom is gonna be catfish. So he he maximizes it even more. He'll cut out the first five, six feet. And that's what he's fishing with. So it's kind of up to you. I like to watch the bottom, kind of give me an idea when I'm getting deeper. Uh, I can watch the the uh, the depth up there at the top, but I like to, it kind of shows me what the, the land looks like. So. Um, that's it basically right there but every time i'm fishing when i go to a new new spot i'm gonna mess with my depth range i'm gonna mess with my uh gain and my forward range so i'm gonna scan far out and then when it comes time to fish i'm gonna be at it, i'm gonna back it into 20. so you know i can get up to uh see i'm scanning at 70 feet as i get closer i'm gonna keep enlarging that um until i get to the 20 foot once it gets in the 20 foot then i'm gonna have it where it is now let me get back get out of this and uh there we go i don't usually go some people will pop it in even farther i don't do that just because when i use spot lock a lot of times like right now we got a nice windy day and uh if i get to 10 feet by the time i start fishing they're out at about 15 to 16 feet and as you notice i don't have that on the screen right now because i zoomed in too far so i like to stay at 20. and uh, anyway i hope hope these things have kind of given you some uh, some good information on live scope uh for sure if you have questions please by all means uh put them in the comments 
let me know and I'll see what I can do about answering them, guys. So thanks so much. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna catch some fish here in a second and uh, and uh, we'll give y'all a little more entertainment. I do have some live scope footage coming up as well. So thank y'all. All right, good fish. Pulled him right out of there. I'm gonna see if I can't do that again on camera. On uh, active captain. There we go. Oh, y'all are looking right into the sun too. I apologize. Not a dang thing I can do about it. Good fish. All right, guys, Lake Palestine Special, or Palestine Special, rather, by Bonehead. This is gonna be the Slim Stick, that's what I'm using. These are decent fish here. All right, let's go get those guys right in there. Got it there. A little bitty one. So guys, what's interesting here, I've not had a lot of success with, oh, it was too far, hold on, let me look back over here, with uh, catching fish in a big school like this for a while so uh, it's kind of fun man uh, this is five fish right off this one pile here let's get a little closer in let's get back on screen there we are since I pull five of them out of here I may not get any more off this one Yeah, that sucker took it. That's a good fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hopefully y'all saw that one. Couldn't miss it. It's not as good of a fish as I thought it was, but still, it's a good fish. It's an eater. Man, gotta mark these things down before I lose count. All right, sure didn't think I'd get another one off there, but we did, so let's try that one more time. Oh, man. Little bitty one, but my, uh, my bail wasn't totally closed. <laughs> Felt like he was really strong. Woo! All right, YouTube. Hey guys, we are calling it a day. It's about 11:15 uh, right now, and uh, man, it is. I wish I was a weatherman. They said it would be one to two mile an hour winds today, and it's uh, well, it's white capping out there. It's pretty good for one to two mile an hour winds. Um, one of the only jobs you can get into, and uh, it'd be wrong all the time. If you're a weatherman, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just having a good time anyway guys thanks for watching hope i got you some uh, good information on live scope and um and we caught caught quite a few fish today so it was a good time but uh yeah man y'all make sure you uh like subscribe to the channel and uh we'll catch you all next week so y'all have a good one actually if you get a chance we'll see you on monday night for the live show eight o'clock central standard time y'all take care